Our generation is really desensitized. Just don't go on a Tumblr and there's porn right before your eyes. And if you don't learn now to control the lust in your lives, guys, you'll never know how to completely love your wives. Sex isn't bad. It was God's creation. But we've corrupted it with porn and fornication. And I know that our friends and the world may have made this seem like a legitimacy, but my question is, why can't we wait till marriage to have daily intimacy? And then there's posts on networks saying, repost if you believe God is real. You go ahead and do so, but you rarely go by your bed and kneel and speak to the same God who has preserved your life. So think about how Jesus feels. Is that right? No. It's a shame. Yeah. We all know his name. But the way I see it, we're playing this game where we decide to live life and have fun before putting sin in the bullet's aim. Now I've been talking for a while now, but I hope y'all get in what I'm saying. Yeah. Jesus loves you. That's why he came here to die. So that when you do, your soul could ascend to the sky. But people, if we continue to fornicate, get drunk, and even lie, I guarantee you'll never live eternally with this guy. Luke 13, 3 and 5. Now, Luke 6, 46, Jesus asked a very good question. Why do we call him Lord, but then continue to willingly sin after our confession? You may think you're free now from your transgressions, but in actuality, that is a common misconception. So, homie, this could be a last chance now. You can step into the light or remain blind in your dark cloud. But when you die in your sin and God decides to scorn you, don't you dare tell my father that I never warned you. Before the last poet comes, I would just like to very briefly speak on the poem that I just said. I hope that y'all didn't just see it as a performance, something that I just wrote to get people to clap for me. Because honestly, as I was writing it, I was like, I was really praying for something that would have everyone go home, like, and reflect on my words. Because there's a lot of us in the church, the church, not outside the church, and we're playing God for a fool, as I said in the poem. And we know we've got so comfortable with God. We seem to be so forgiving and so loving. But we tend to forget that it's the same God that the angels only sent one time. And he didn't just banish them from the hell. I mean, banish them from the, um, heaven. He created an eternal place of torture for them. God doesn't play games. Look, we all saw the skit. Jesus loves you. But don't go and purposely get your clothes dirty just because you know the laundromat is open 24-7. Yeah.